boom, the mountain fire erupts in Southern California. Ladies and gentlemen, Rex Bear Leak Project. This is a quick update to the mountain fire, and I hope you're safe and prepared, not scared. You can see Los Angeles Times, 3,500 homes under threat as Ventura County fire burns through neighborhoods. Major road closures due to Ventura County's mountain fire. Powerful winds fueled destructive wildfires in Southern California. You know, I was reading through the comments because I did an update on this yesterday as soon as I found out about it. And a couple of people responded in the area and they said that the wind gusts were not only extremely intense, but frightening. And it reminded them of fires that took place in California last year that went. So these are extremely intense. And if you're in an area that they've ordered evacuations, get the hell out of there. Because I saw some video footage of this, and we're going to look at some video footage of this in a minute. This is no joke. This is directly from fire.ca.gov. Now, this started yesterday, and within hours, it was over 9,000 acres. Now it's over 14,000 acres in Ventura County. And this isn't the only fire that firefighters are dealing with in Southern California. Started yesterday. Here's the location. The cause is still under investigation. Look at this long list of evacuation orders and immediate threat to life. This is an order by law enforcement to leave immediately. The area is lawfully closed to the public access. Evacuation orders are in effect. You've got 10 different zones. You have unincorporated down here. So we've got evacuation orders, evacuation warnings, evacuation shelters. We've got a large animal evacuation center available in uh, the Ventura County Fairgrounds, it looks like. Evacuation center has been established for large animals at the Ventura County Fairgrounds. I'll just leave this up for you guys to see, and I'm going to leave the links in the video description box. Let's scroll down here. The Ventura County Fire Department is on the scene of a fast-moving fire brush, brush fire and near the 7900 block of Balcom Canyon Road and Bradley Road. Road closures, northbound Lewis Road at Las Posas, eastbound Highway 118 at Wells Road, westbound Highway 118 at Tierra Rajada Road. This is the Alert California camera feed. Take a look at that. This is from vcemergency.com. A press conference is scheduled for Thursday, November 7th at 10 a.m. You can watch live. You can click the link at this website, which I will leave for you in the video description box. The Ventura County Fire Department and numerous other agencies remain on scene of the mountain incident that was originally reported in the 7900 block of Balcom Canyon Road and Bradley Road. The fire is currently estimated at 14,187 acres, 0% containment, Fire agencies from across Southern California are now on scene assisting in suppression efforts over the next several days. Numerous evacuation orders remain in effect and will continue through Thursday. Personnel from the Ventura County Sheriff's Office are working closely with the incident management team to ensure a timely repopulation of evacuated areas when it's safe to do so. Personnel from Ventura County Sheriff's Emergency Services will be working throughout the day to conduct damage assessment, ultimately working to start the recovery process and secure state and federal assistance. Yesterday, Ventura County Sheriff Jim Fryhoff issued a local emergency proclamation and has requested California Governor Gavin Newsom proclaim a state of emergency for the areas impacted. These emergency proclamations are vital steps to activating state and federal assistance programs for both fire suppression efforts and assisting residents. Now, yesterday, it was so windy, they weren't able to fly planes with fire suppression methods. I think they did have some helicopters out there, but the winds were just insane. So we'll check on that in a minute. Here's the evacuation orders. It's like 10 different zones. And then the evacuation warnings, the road closures, 
And we just went over this a few minutes ago. So here's the hotline for residents. You can call 805 465 6650. Google Maps, put it into perspective if you know the area uh, north of Thousand Oaks and south of Bardsdale little bit it looks like right there this is from nws los angeles thick smoke is blowing west that was a typo where it says east they update that so thick smoke blowing west as you can see right here from the mountain fire south of ventura to camarillo please avoid the area if you can if you will be driving through smoke because if you don't avoid the area you're going to be driving through exuberant amounts of smoke and let's take a look at the forecast right here, shall we? National Weather Service warning. Yeah, you've got a lot here. So air quality alert in effect until 4 p.m. Pacific time today. The Ventura County Air Pollution Control District has issued an air quality alert due to smoke impacts from the mountain fire. This air quality alert is in effect until 4 p.m. Pacific time Thursday. For additional information, you can call this number right here. 805-662-6960. There is a potential for public safety power shutoff. So, wow, hello. Hope you have a generator or you don't need electricity. Ventura County Sheriff's Emergency Services and the National Weather Service are currently monitoring a significant Santa Ana wind event forecasted to impact Ventura County from Wednesday morning through Friday, November 8th. Gusty northeast winds can be expected with sustained speeds ranging from 30 to 55 miles an hour. Gusts as high as 100 miles an hour are possible in wind-prone mountainous locations. And in addition to windy conditions, low relative humidity, poor overnight recovery is expected. A red flag warning has been issued, which started Wednesday 4 a.m. through Thursday 6 p.m. for all areas of Ventura County. Due to the high fire danger, 46 Southern California Edison electrical circuits are being monitored for potential public safety power shutoff. The period of concern for PSPS extends from November 6th, 3 a.m. to November 7th, 9 p.m. Should conditions in any area exceed Southern California Edison safety thresholds, electricity may be temporarily shut off to minimize the risk of ignition of a wildfire. Areas of risk for shutoff may change as conditions evolve. Individuals that rely on electricity to power medical devices are encouraged to plan ahead now and take steps to ensure your safety and well-being. Get some resource centers there. Okay, so this is the real-time instant dashboard and map. Let's go take a look at that. Ventura County Sheriff Emergency Services Incident Dashboard. This is pretty cool. Here's the map legend. Let's see what we got here. Regulation warnings. 14,187 acres burned. 94,200 customers impacted. Okay, let's take a look at the Southern California Edison board here. We've got 10 monitored circuits that may be shut off within 24 hours. Imminent shut off. 30 could be shut off at any moment, 17 are hazardous, zero wind-related outages, and zero circuits being inspected will be re-energized soon. Current temperatures. Here we go. Yep, this is, this is it. This is what I was looking for. All right, let's take a look. Oh, it's after smoking. Let's take a look at the live.
Wow. California. It's amazing out there, right? Oh, geez. Well, I wish you the very best and be prepared, not scared. We'll keep you updated. These are the latest images and uh, footage that we can find here. So absolutely a lot going on. Let's go back to this right here. Fire breaks out in Malibu, threatening hundreds of homes and structures. Dozens of Southern California homes burned and thousands of residents were forced to flee as a fast-moving wildfire exploded in Ventura County, northwest of Los Angeles. A rare, particularly dangerous situation. Red flag warning was issued by the National Weather Service due to windy, dry conditions that allowed several wildfires to spread quickly. We've got the mountain fire, 16 square miles burned shortly after this fire was sparked in Ventura County Wednesday, multiplying from a much smaller fire in just hours, dubbed the mountain fire, led to a large response from firefighters who requested multiple helicopters to help drop water on the blaze because they couldn't fly airplanes over the area because of the extreme winds. This is as intense as it gets. The hair on the back of the firefighter's neck, I'm sure, was standing up, Ventura County Fire Captain Trevor Johnson told reporters Wednesday afternoon. 10,000 residents were forced to evacuate. 3,500 suburban structures were at risk Wednesday. Numerous homes destroyed. So we will keep you posted, ladies and gentlemen. That's why it's always good to be prepared, not scared. And you got to watch Leak Project every single day. Just make it a part of your daily routine. And you're awesome. Be the change you want to see, and we'll see you soon. And we'll see you on Patreon.